I hope all of our listeners know who Jay Gresham Machen was. Uh, he was one of the greatest scholars and champions of the faith that uh, Amer the American church has seen. Uh, he taught at Princeton Theological Seminary in the uh, first decades of the 20th century and uh, was one of the leaders uh, in the battle at that time against the rising tide of what in those days was called modernism that we know as liberalism as well. And um, liberalism was the fruit of uh, scholarly attacks on the Bible that suggested that the Bible really was not the word of God, but that the Bible was the word of man and that there were valuable things in the Bible. One could learn things about God from the Bible, but the Bible was not entirely reliable or true and had to be subjected to human evaluation and um, criticism. And as that modernism, that liberalism uh, began to develop, it began to attack all sorts of fundamental Christian teachings. It attacked the notion of miracles. It attacked the physical resurrection of Christ from the dead. Uh, it attacked the substitutionary atonement uh, of Christ. And so those who reacted against the rising liberalism uh, in the name of protecting the fundamentals of the faith became known as fundamentalists. And Dr. Machen was probably the most articulate uh, and the most um, scholarly of the leaders of the uh, fundamentalist reaction, even though he always remained a little uncomfortable with the, the label fundamentalist because uh, he was concerned that we not reduce Christianity to just a few fundamentals. He wanted a full orb, full biblical uh, uh, Christianity. And, and as he faced that struggle uh, in his own Presbyterian church, and to some extent uh, with some uh, connected to Princeton Seminary, uh, he wanted to write a book in, in defense of um, uh, the point of view that he and others was defending. And uh, he did that in his really classic work, uh, Christianity and Liberalism, published in 1923. And that work um, it is so important. It's, it's uh, the fruit of scholarship, but it's not really a scholarly book in the sense that only scholars can read it. It was very much written for the church and was very much written with chapters looking at basic issues in controversy, a chapter on the Bible, uh, a chapter on Christ, uh, a chapter on the church, and, and other chapters as well. Um, and it, it is just a wonderfully readable and effective defense of these things uh, in a way that, that seems entirely contemporary today. The issues have really not gone away, and this book still very much speaks to the issues uh, that we face. So I encourage everybody to read this book. Um, but in it, when it first came out, um, it was very controversial in part because of its title, Christianity and Liberalism. That title was Dr. Machen's very clear declaration, there are two religions um, competing in our day, he said. One religion is the religion of Christianity, which is a religion that's been around for 2,000 years and has had integrity for 2,000 years as to what it is that it teaches and believes. And now a new religion that claims to be Christian, but in fact is not. And, and that's what so enraged his critics that he was clearly saying liberalism is not Christianity. You have to choose between Christianity and liberalism. Uh, the liberals had been saying, well, we're Christians with just different theories about things. We're, we're Christians that share a faith with you conservatives. We just talk about things somewhat differently. And Dr. Machen said, that's not true at all. It's two different religions. And um, as I say, that, that book is as valuable and as insightful and as helpful uh, today as it was a century ago. It, in some ways, it's discouraging that we haven't uh, been able to move beyond these challenges to Christianity, which have been so effectively answered. Really, for over 200 years, we've had good answers to the challenges that liberals have posed. 
but uh, have not been able to successfully drive them from the field. Um, what, what do you think is the root cause? Is that going back to your comment earlier, it's not, it's not trusting in the authority of Scripture? Yes, I think, I think that's very much it. Uh, it. It's a matter of authority. Is the Bible the revelation of God? Is the Bible God speaking to us? Is the Bible therefore entirely reliable? And um, um, the, the, the liberals were saying the Bible is helpful. The Bible is insightful. The Bible is useful. Uh, the Bible contains the word of God. Uh, part of what uh, really distressed Dr. Machen is what he saw as the fundamental dishonesty of liberals. Uh, they weren't willing to say, we just don't believe parts of the Bible. Um, they always wanted to try to uh, express themselves in a way that would not be clear to people in the churches. And um, Dr. Machen thought that was just dishonest and that if you want a new religion, at least have the integrity to confess that you have a new religion. And um, yeah, uh, it, it was a turning away from the Bible and reliance on the Bible. But Dr. Machen went further, and I think he was right. It's a turning away from God. It's creating God in your own image. It's creating God to say the things you want to hear rather than listening to what God says that you ought to hear and need to hear. And so it, it really is two different religions at work. Each week we release new questions and other trusted teachings, so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video.